Hi everyone! Um, Merry Christmas! It's hopefully up today. This is the 24th of December 2020, the year of... <gasps> That's all I can say. And I thought as a last little thing, because I probably won't do one next week, um, I would do a lipstick review. I know that's quite ironic in a year where we have to wear masks every time we go out, at least in this country, in England. Um, and I've just gotten into the habit of putting a mask on as soon as I leave the house. But I do take it off to take some photos, you know, Instagram. And the rest of the time, um, yeah. So what's really good is I thought I, I have been doing some lipstick tests of some liquid lips from independent English and American businesses uh, to see how well they last after wearing a mask all day, how they feel on the lips, you know, drying, that sort of thing, and long lastingness and colour. So uh, I'm currently wearing one, which I will talk about a little bit later, but I wanted to show you. That is after a whole day of wearing a mask. I took the mask off and there is a hint, and I mean a hint, of rub off on the mask but this is it and this was on I've put one coat on I've not put a lip coat over the top so I will tell you how awesome this one is later but first of all hello and you know if you're gonna like this like it subscribe it ring the bell bleep bleep bleep, bleep watch my other videos me, 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 me. but let's get into it shall we oh and in case you didn't know I don't I pause but I don't edit so this is my weird stream of consciousness so the first stuff I thought I would do is Black Moon Cosmetics. Black Moon Cosmetics have been around a few years. Honestly, I haven't really been very good and I haven't looked them up. Um, they're from, on their web, on their box, they say Black Moon Cosmetics in Burbank uh, in Los Angeles. They're made in Los Angeles. They're vegan and cruelty free. And the packaging is glorious. I got two ordered. And when I got them ordered from America, only a few months ago they came and I did not have to pay um, any sort of extra duty customs charges. So I only bought two, so there we go. So the first one I bought was called Castle. It's a grey. This is how the box comes. Look at that. I mean, they've thought about this. It's beautiful cardboard. It looks like a fully recyclable cardboard. And it's got silver. There we are. I have to say these are probably my favourite packaging. And then I also got, what's it called? Sorrow, which is a blue. And the Sorrow came in a blue one. So I don't know if the others come in different colours as well. Um, I would assume so. But yeah, so I keep the boxes because they're glorious. Anyway. And then here are the liquid lipstick tubes themselves. They have the Black Moon symbol on them. Ironically, it's not Black Moon. And... <laughs> because it's a black bottle so there we go I keep looking over here but I should be looking here I apologize um there we go so this is black moon it has uh, where is it oh, okay so not on this one but on the sorrow it has a little moon embossed into the thing it has the color of both on the back and you can see the color in the bottom of this beautiful packaging um, let me do a quick swatch and I will show you. These are both metallics um, because I wanted to have something that's a bit different. Just to let you know also, I have <laughs> actually have no foundation on. So this is my face pinky. Um, so I'm like a peach to a warm tone, but I always wear cool to make my skin look more sallow and pallid. There we go. Um, so that's one swipe. I did one swipe each. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there we go. So Sorrow is like this, oh, oh gosh. Sorrow is this dark blue. And then Castle is a silver. So what I'll do, I'm going to pause you for a second. I'm going to wipe off this colour. And I will put the blue on one and the grey on the other so you can see the two together. Be back shortly. Okay, I'm just putting this back on. let that dry so one swipe one swipe there we go so one swipe of these gives a really intense color i'm gonna scooch on forward the old school zoom i know the lighting well this is as good as it gets here in england <laughs> um 
that is Castle. That's what's called Castle. It is a sparkly silver, as you can see. And it's pretty true to colour on my lips. My lips are not highly pigmented, so they're, um, yeah, they're reasonably true to colour. And then this is Sorrow. Sorrow! Which is this glorious dark blue metallic. And then the Kiss Off Factor, I've put this on. So it does come up a little bit until it's fully, fully dry, as you can see. Um, but, excuse my teeth. Oh, that's a bit of a mess there. I did it quick. Um, it feels amazing. The interesting bit is, though, Castle, which is one of their older, maybe it's an older one or something, but it smells like, um, like vanilla butter cake, you know, sort of thing. Whereas the... The uh, blue one, Sorrow, has a slightly, chemi slightly chemical, but they're not strong perfumes. They're not scented really heavily, so they're quite lovely to wear. Um, they dry down amazingly well, and they do last really, really well. So let's try it. Um, mm -hmm. There you go. And that's it. I mean, we're talking. It's not been that long. There we go. So I'm going to take this off now. I'm using just argan oil. And this is the fun bit. And a reusable cloth. Being a bit vicious, but there you go. I won't show you the rest of it, but that is how, with a bit of argan oil, it comes off. Oh, it makes a mess everywhere else, but uh, it comes off pretty well. I say so myself. Yeah, so that you can see also that's the colour of my lips. There's not a lot of pigment between the two, so I do read quite well, but I am on the weird it's peach so it's warm but cool at the same time almost neutral but slightly on the pink side of neutral anyway let me show you the next ones back again the next thing i'm going to do is a new company from england called vulcan and vixen um matte lip paint is what they call it more so than a liquid lipstick it comes in this glorious pink if you can see it ah oh, come on Focus, focus. She's not going to focus. Anyway, I'm going to focus on my face. Anyway, so it has this lovely marbleized pink effect. I believe the maker loves pink. It has a nice, simple design of, you can see all the colour. I love it when you can do that because you can see exactly how much you've got and what the colour is. It has the names on the back. It has black lid. The doe foot on... I meant to mention the doe foot on the Black Moon Cosmetics are really easy to use. So this, I got these two colours because this is all purchased by myself. So it's colours that I like to wear. I love a red, I love a dark. Um, let me do a swatch here. Mm. There's no scent whatsoever with these. I also love a neutral. So these have a slightly thicker texture to them, I think, because they call them a lip paint. And there we go. So you've got the red, which is called Petra, and it's this really beautiful red. And then the, oh, my eyes are going old and bent, Megalocyte. Megalocyte? Megala? Mega? Mega cutie? Mega suit? Mega? Mega Clyde? Oh. Mega something. <laughs> and um, it's a lovely, lovely neutral. So let me start putting them on. I'm going to again do two on this. We'll do it like that. And then you can see what they look like. So uh, I put it on this way this time. So Megalo Site, Megalo, whatever it is, is the neutral pink. And it is very pale. I like actually mixing it with another color as well. So to give like a nice blend. Um, but it's a beautiful colour. It's got a hint of sort of mauve, I would say. And then Petra is the most glorious pure red. I love it. They're both quite thick, so they feel very moisturising. They dry down really well. I've just put this one on, put on first. This one's... Oh, oh, oh. So they're still drying. But you can see how with the skin tone... As I said, again, I've got a completely nude face except for eyes. I don't have any foundation on. And I'm an older lady. Yeah, an older lady. 
with some um, there we go so yeah I know that's a weird look but I really like it um, let's do a bit of the test shall we I don't think yeah this is still a bit damp so I'm just going to do the red side because I put the red side on first what about nothing nothing kiss test yeah, see that the neutral is still a tiny bit damp. So it takes, because it's quite thick, it takes a little bit longer to dry down. But once it's dry, it doesn't move. I'm really impressed because reds often are very hard to keep on your face. On your face? On your lips. Um, they wear quite quickly even with that. And I've tried every single one of these. And all the ones I'm showing you today, I have tried full day wear with makeup. Uh, I'm sorry, with a mask. The red does fade a little bit. It does smear a little bit if you don't let it dry down completely. But once it's dried down, they don't move. But they come off really nicely with the argan oil. So, um, yeah, that's Vulcan and Vixen. Um, I think the, the scent, the fact that there's not really any scent is really good. The doe foot could be a little bit easier to use because it's a bit more rounder than pointed. But that's my personal opinion because I like a pointed doe foot because I don't use a lip pen pencil. I'm lazy. I use what's in this and that's it, which is why I went off lipsticks. So having a more defined pointy doe foot applicator means I can get a nicer Cupid's bow. And that is that's just how I like it. But I love these and I'm going to be buying more as they um, are offered. Uh, all these, as I said, I've purchased before. I purchased them myself. None of them are sponsored or gifted, but I will put the links to the three companies below. And then I will come back with the third one once I take this off. Hold on a sec. Just as a quick aside, I thought I'd show you. Um, yeah, so recyclable makeup white pad things and some um, argan oil or almond oil or coconut oil, whatever you want to use. I've got argan oil. And um, I just sort of... Ugh, usually not quite this rough. But anyway. You can use a lip scrub as well. Um, it's however you want to take it off, really. But I like to try and be as eco-friendly as possible. Um, ugh. The red is good, but it's a bit more challenging to get off. Red is always more challenging to get off, so warn you there. But there we go. Recycle. I just chuck these in the washing machine when they're all ready to go and they're clean again. And there we go. So hold on one second. Okay, the last set is VE Cosmetics. Um, most of them, I think, they're witchcraft range, or I think all of their lipsticks are called the witch witchcraft range witchcraft range they are also made in england um vegan and cruelty free as are ve um, uh, vulcan and vixen so all of these are vegan i'm not vegan but i am trying to be more eco-friendly so you know cruelty free vegan products where i can no testing on animals things like that so this range ve cosmetics um i <laughs> I have a few. Um, I'll end with the darkest one, which is Black Hole. They have a range of different ones, so they're all liquid lips. But this is a different package, as you can see, because these are the liquid lip matte. They dry down to a matte finish. This one, however, is a moisturizing liquid lip. I didn't think that was possible. You could have a liquid lip that still looked sort of a bit lush and moist. Um, but this one does, so I'll keep this till last. So I thought I'd show you what I've got. I've got whoop, two greys and two greens at the moment. Now, they're very, very close, although in the camera they look a lot less the same, which is interesting. Um, the two greens, one is more like a pure green, slightly on the yellow or pine green. And then this is probably my favourite colour, like a turquoise, uh, not turquoise, teal teal and they are called spirit which is the bright green and intuition is the teal green and then i've got these two grays which are almost like taupe mushroom colors one is called anarchy and one is called misty and what i was wearing at the start of the video was misty and i had uh, to show you that they last all day so i will sample you'll be able to see these 
when I put the two on, you can see that they're slightly different. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I did put a picture up with the two different ones on the top and bottom lip. And they're subtle enough that you can get away with that if you want to and not be too overt. But at the same time, they're two different colours. So here they are. I don't know if you can see. See, one is more like a pure grey and one is a bit more purpley coloured. And uh, Misty and um, Anarchy. So let me put them both on. Hold on one second. I'm just putting the last bit of Anarchy. No, Misty on the top. There you go. One swipe again. That's amazing. Uh, they have no scent at all. No, no scent whatsoever. The doe foot applicator is really nice. It's got a quite a I should really get a camera one day. Huh. Anyway, it's got quite a nice shape, so you can see I can get a nice line. Can you see the difference? This is a bit more purple. This is a bit more classic grey. and But it's not the metallic of Castle. Um, but you've got the three sort of grey. So. And I love the colour it gives with the teeth. So it does actually look quite... But you can see what I mean. There's very subtle difference. You can see it when they're together, but when they're individual, you can't really tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go the greens next. So let me wipe these off again. Hold on a second. Almost done. Um, the next two are my two greens that I have because I had um, Sugar Pill, the lovely euphoria i think u4 er um it's lovely the green is beautiful but i find on my lips it has fallout which is really weird and it doesn't last on my lips very long so i wanted to try something different however the sugar pill red is amazing but for me the sugar pill green just didn't work so these two are called intuition and spirit as i said one is more pure green one is more teal green and let me put them on for you. Same doe foot, same smell, everything like that. Okay, I don't know why your lighting has gone really yellow. It's not that yellow. Anyway, whatever. It's actually quite... Uh, I don't know what's going on with weather. As you can see, the doe foot's really nice. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. So that is the two greens. Oh, I love intuition. <laughs> it's my favourite colour. So you can see this is more distinct in its two changes of green. One is very much a true green. And one is much more a turquoise. Teal. Oh, why do I keep saying turquoise? It's teal. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Sorry, I went a bit mad then for a second. Um, yeah, there we go. So I've got one more to do. They've dried down pretty damn well. I forgot to do that with the greys, but the two greys, they dried down really well. So here's sort of... Mm -hmm. You saw I just put them on. They haven't dried down yet because they take a little bit of time with any liquid lip. That does take a bit of time to dry down. Um, but there we go. Oh, oh, I was going to swish them. Ah, this was, I was hoping this would be a 10 minute video. But, yet again, I'm glad you people that watch me are dedicated to watching me because I just talk and I'm not even doing that much. Anyway, there we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that difference in the green. So very blue ocean green and very much like a true green. So you can see there. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Like, oh, God. Excuse me. There we go. I'm going to show you the last one. Take these off. Um, you, yeah, you've seen me take them off, so I'm going to just take them off, and I'll be back in a moment with the last one and my overall thoughts. So this is the last one. This is called Black Hole. As I said, V Cosmetics, and it's their moisture liquid lip. Um, I have a lot of black lipsticks, 
and I've been trying to find like my ultimate black lipstick and I think this might be it. It's got a gloss to it. These are obviously still dry and ground, but you can see how these two have um, dried down nicely. This is the black and it leaves that sort of oil slick sort of thing. I love this. I'm keeping intuition on. I don't care what you say. I'm keeping it on. We're going to have green and black lip. So this has got more of a rounded doe foot. Which I found trickier to put on. Is it even? No. That's what I love about liquid lips. You can just sort of build them up. This doesn't need a second coat. Uh, I'm just trying to tidy up. There we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. So I wanted to leave this on for the last one because uh, after having ripped off a few bits of liquid lipstick, my lips are gen tender now. Um, but there we go. That's the black. Can you see it? Why the lining so weird? Maybe just could it? It's also yellow. Ooh, no, I'll make you feel dizzy. How about that? Aha! Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I've cocked it up now, haven't I? All right. Anyway, there we go. I'm trying to get the, uh, uh, uh. there. We go. <laughs> right. So. This is, it's still damp at the moment. It takes a little longer to dry down and it's never completely dry dry because it is a moisturizing one, but it also doesn't transfer once we've got it. Do I need a new tissue? No, no. There you go. So the green has gone, has dried down beautifully now. None of them feel like I'm wearing a lipstick. None of them are crusty. They don't get crunchy or crusty or tight on the lips. They just dry. And it's like, how does that work? I don't know. It's magic. Let's see how that's going. Yeah, see, that's still, it's almost there. It's almost right down. Mm. Yeah, a bit of transfer. That was from my black. So that was my thoughts. Um, as I said, they come in this packaging. I personally, having tried, I bought NYX products. I bought Revlon. I've bought all those other brands, the big brands. I bought KVD and I do love um, a bit of KVD lipstick. Their black is whew, pretty damn good. Um, also, I keep wanting to call it orchid, but it's something, it's like a dark purple blue. I really like, they're the two I like, they're my favorites. But the ones I just showed you today, to be honest, are my new go-tos. Um, I think they especially... The E Cosmetics. Black Moons are beautiful for the metallics. As you can see, now that these have all dried down, the metallics in the Black Moon Cosmetics are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love, love, love this pure red, even though I swatched that terribly. It, it, is, it is a lovely pure red. And this neutral, oh, mwah, sublime. That's from um, Vulcan and Vixen. But I have to say my favourites for the range of colours, the quality of colours, the feel of the lipstick, the way they don't transfer. VE Cosmetics are the way to go, guys. They're, and if you're in England, you're buying local. You're buying an English company from an independent one, I think, one woman company. Or at least a very small business. Um, just like Vulcan and Vixen are a very small business. They're, if you're in England, buy them. That's what I recommend. Um, I got onto VE through Emily Boo. Thank you, Emily. You're awesome for your alternative buying things, which I might I'll link below as well. Uh, so go watch her. Go support her. She's freaking awesome. Um, and that's it, guys. That's that's your lot today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go in, have a look at their website and maybe be tempted with a colour or two. Um, they all have other colours. I'm just, you know, my good old goth, so I always like a bit of a dark colour. Um, I never thought I'd like green lippies, but I do. Um, and yeah, there's VE have a lot of range of hues. So if you're warm toned, you might find the right 
you could see the two greys there was like four greys and like three or four or five or six greens and they've got blues and they've got all different colors so go on to all the websites i've got linked below and the ones i reviewed today have a look at them see what you think try them make a comment below if you found that your favorite is a different color or if there you know of another independent brand that is um cruelty free and vegan and uh, independent that um, I might want to try and uh, yeah I hope you have a lovely Christmas a lovely new year uh, let's tell 2020 to just sit the f down and um, stop bothering us with the rubbish that's been happening but we've made it we have so close to made it through the year be proud that you've made it through um, I'm proud of you I'm proud of me because I've been doing some stuff too and uh yeah, love you all. Mwah. Be get kind to each other. Be careful and safe for yourselves. Wear a mask. You can still wear lipstick. Wear a mask. And um, I'll see you in the new year. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye,